Hi everyone and welcome to Windrider Farm. In today's video we're going inside the pepper greenhouse here on the homestead to take a look at the pepper experiment that we started back in June. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, what you're seeing in front of you is a 12 by 14 foot greenhouse that we built out of scrap wood so we could perform an experiment on our peppers. The experiment that we were performing was to see how many pepper plants we could fit in this greenhouse. So what we decided to do was to take our 140 pepper plants and put them in 70 5 gallon buckets. The experiment wasn't just to see how many pepper plants we could fit in this space, but also to see if the pepper plants would remain healthy and productive if we put two in each pot. So in today's video we're going inside the greenhouse to see what parts of this experiment were successful and which parts of it were not. For those of you who watched our previous videos, you'll remember that early on in this experiment we had a serious insect infestation that we had to deal with. We had six different garden pests that we had to contend with that almost decimated this entire experiment. At one point it was so bad we weren't even sure if these pepper plants were going to recover. But after we got the insect infestation under control, we continued to water and fertilize them well, hoping they would recover, and they did. The pepper plants have recovered so well, they're actually growing through the fence on the north side of the greenhouse. But then we had another problem during the experiment. For the month of July here in New York State, it rained 27 out of 31 days. What made the constant rain and cloudy days even more of a challenge is the fact that this greenhouse is not in full sun. This greenhouse only receives about six hours of direct sunlight every day. So the growing conditions were particularly challenging for all of these peppers. Once the rain stopped in the month of August, these plants started to put out some very exuberant growth. As you can see, some of these pepper plants are almost touching the roof of this greenhouse and some of them are even taller than I am. So as you can see, putting two pepper plants in each five gallon bucket did not adversely affect the growth of these pepper plants. So the successful part of this experiment is that we were able to grow 140 pepper plants in a 12 by 14 foot greenhouse in 75 gallon buckets. As you can see, all of these pepper plants now are very, very healthy. But if there is a failure in this experiment, it's this. Although I'm grateful that all of these pepper plants recovered from the infestation and the month with limited sunlight, this was not a complete success. Here in this part of the Hudson River Valley in New York State, we have a very short growing season. So these pepper plants will never reach their full potential now because we're going to be getting a frost in three to four weeks. So even inside this greenhouse, we don't have enough time left of the growing season for all of these pepper flowers that you see covering these peppers to form fruit. Because it's so late in the season, we'll never find out this year how much fruit we could have gotten from all of these plants. So we will be performing the same pepper experiment next year and there are some things we'll be doing the same, but there are some things we will be changing. So next year we'll be doing exactly the same thing we'll be putting 140 pepper plants in 75 gallon buckets. But next year we're going to be a lot more vigilant if insects decide to attack our pepper plants. We lost about three weeks of growing time just waiting for these pepper plants to recover from the infestation. One of the other changes that we'll be making next year is we'll still be growing in this greenhouse, but we're going to be removing some of the large branches from the trees that surround the greenhouse. We can't control the weather, but we can control, to a certain degree, the amount of sunlight that comes into this greenhouse. Pepper plants do appreciate a certain amount of afternoon shade, but because it rained for almost the entire month of July, we can't take the chance next year that we might have that same type of weather pattern. So what we're going to do next year is just try to increase the sunlight by about 20 to 30 percent. One of the things we wouldn't change at all is how we fertilize these pepper plants and what we use to fertilize them. 
I am certain that the fertilizers that we used and the fertilizing schedule that we adhered to was responsible for all of these pepper plants coming back from that terrible infestation. Had we not used the fertilizers we did as often as we did, this experiment could have had a far different outcome. For those of you who didn't watch our video on how to fertilize pepper plants, I'll put a link to that video in the description below. So the experiment was not a total success, nor was it a total failure. And we did learn the importance of vigilance and adaptability. Thank you for watching today's video, and I hope you found the information in the video helpful. And I hope it inspires you to start a little pepper experiment of your own.